YouTube. <laughs> it is a Warner's block here. I just got done um, recording and um, uploading my week 138 post sleeve gastric post sleeve post VSG sleeve surgery update. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> here are my stats. High weight. Okay, let me preface this. My high weight was like, my corded was 327-ish. My pre-op weight was 312. Surgery weight, 296.6. My low weight in 2016, uh, this in the summer, was 197. I had surgery, by the way, in 2015. Uh, my current weight is 223.6. I am on my... Way back down, I had a regain, and I'm now, like, redevoting myself and uh, getting back on YouTube. It's been about a year and a half since I was making regular updates. Uh, this guy over here is uh, my husband. Hi, YouTube. And um, on May 19th, 2018, it will be our 11-year wedding anniversary. We started dating in 2004, and I met him in the late... 1990s uh <laughs> so <coughs> yeah um as i was trying to recommit to this uh sleeve style of dieting and getting back on track and losing weight again i had asked him to please take this week and kind of reflect on a few things like what's it like to be um the husband of me of someone who had weight loss surgery uh, I have to move my because my legs are getting numb. Um, like, what was your biggest challenge? What was something that you thought was going to be a challenge that actually wasn't a challenge? Um, what is something that you see us doing now that we didn't do two and a half years ago when I had my surgery? And, um, yeah, so I just thought... That as we were talking about, I was like, you know what? YouTube deserves to know this. People get on <laughs> and they want to know, like, how is this going to affect my spouse, you know? Um, right. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm 138 weeks post-op and uh, I'll let you take it. Good deal. So, um, what is it like being the spouse of somebody who's gone through weight loss surgery? That's a big one, and um, I'll try to unpack that a little bit. Uh, my answer is, of course, very based, very much based on our personal relationship, our personal history, and like as she mentioned, we've known each other a very long time. So it may not apply to everybody, but here it goes. Um, you know, before surgery, you know, there was often talk about her weight gain you know what can we do what should we do how do we do it and that was very different post-surgery where we knew exactly what we needed to do mm -hmm. um, so we knew what kind of lifestyle we needed what kind of things you needed to eat you know uh, high protein and low carb stay away from refined su sugars and all that um, significant life change for both of us for sure yeah um, and having said that though I mean our relationship is pretty much the same I mean yeah we've changed as people and we've grown as people but, I uh, haven't I shrunk <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know I, not everybody's in our, our situation and so I just want to kind of clarify that you know the surgery won't fix a relationship you know you bring everything with you um, post post-op you know any baggage you have you're still gonna have uh, post-surgery so you know we've been in a committed relationship and we made decisions together before surgery and we decided to do the surgery together you know that's her surgery but you know we're a family and it was a family decision and we still operate like that mm -hmm. so in that sense things are the same but it's yeah huge change uh, life-changing and um, 
it was surprising some of the things that were easy like one of the questions she said is like you know what was what did you think was going to be a challenge yeah and easier than you expected and that would definitely be um how effective of a tool the surgery was you right. know so i think i realized that even not to cut you off but even this last week you know i mentioned in my last video i was nervous that i had done like irreversible damage eating as much as i did i went totally off um having sleeve diet at all i ate whatever i wanted i've gained 30 pounds i've had this regain and um wondering like i wonder if this tool is broken now and you know what i'm using it and i lost six and a half pounds this week uh on my like get back on track um gusto type of thing that i have going so yeah right. i am surprised at how well it worked yeah that that was true then and still true now um how easy it is to get that restriction back um mm -hmm. still surprises us even this far out and um so did you have anything that was more challenging so um that's hard to sum up but i'd say the biggest challenge is that you know as a husband I want to like give you everything that you want you know that's just uh, how like kind of our relationship operates you know um, she's my I wife. give him what he likes to <laughs> of course she does <laughs> and so you know I just want to make her happy and um, there's a difference you know between short-term happiness and long-term happiness sometimes yeah. it comes together and meets up just fine but uh, that's not always the case so if she wants a taco if she wants you know it's tuesday if she wants <laughs> <laughs> if she wants a, some chocolate or if she wants some fast food you know or anything that's maybe not necessarily healthy for her you know something that's high carb i'm gonna give it to her because that's just our relationship that's how I operate you know I mean and of course maybe that's not the best decision but yeah um, I've often said like he'll give me whatever I want I just need to want what's good for me all the time because he'll do that you know if I want eggs and bacon and a protein shake in the morning he's more than welcome and he's gonna do that if I want you know grits and waffles he's gonna do that too so um, yeah, it's it is a challenge because it is my journey. It is what I mean. Ultimately, it's my life, my cravings, my food that I'm going to eat. Where's the balance between giving me what I want and being stern with me and saying this? But this is what you need. Right. Is that I, what you're saying? I am. I, I make it difficult, honestly, because I make it so easy to you know. She makes a request and there it is you know it may be what she wants but like she said is it what she needs mm -hmm. and I'm not stern not on things like that anyways and it's so that's the difficult part is it finding, me. finding that um, position to be stern and to be strict because that's not something that naturally comes and so I um, have had to explore that and you know it's hard to do without like just kind of without hijacking her journey and like making it my own and being controlling mm -hmm. you know I don't want to control her helping her helping her um, be the best me be the best you and want the right things and actually crave the healthy foods mm -hmm. that's not something that I can force it's not something I can control it's only something I can aid in and that's a difficult area to tread because but he has this week, like, we wake up and then he will just automatically make me a protein shake as my breakfast. Um, not that my husband needs to make me breakfast every day, but he puts me on the right track from the get-go. Now, if I would have requested something else, he probably would have done that. But um, you're very helpful in that way. You did put that banana in my yes shake the one time, and I got kind of mad because I'm like... I didn't ask for a banana. I didn't even ask for a shake. Like, Oops. Uh, 
I didn't want to drink my calories. I didn't want to drink right. a banana. I didn't even know that I had a banana until later that night when I was showing him my fitness pal. And he was like, but what about the banana that I put in there? Um, but it was very sweet that you made me a protein shake, though. He just wanted to, you know, make it hearty and fill me up, you know. Yeah, so even though we have that knowledge base, you know, you know, um, very concrete things of what it is to live a healthy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes we still need to re-educate ourselves and kind of recommit to that, and that's what we've done recently. So. Um, is he our dog? <laughs> he wants it on the conversation too. Yep. Okay. So. Um, yeah, that was a big oops on my part, and um, I totally own that. And hey, buddy. You know, she, she's. We're, we're, hey, buddy. We're honest with each other, and you know, she. It's like, well, I didn't tell you not to put a banana in it, but you know, I should have known. But anyways. Um, but the week before, to give you credit, the week before when I wasn't doing weight loss, I would have been like, "Where's my banana? <laughs> <laughs> like this ain't thick, you know?" Right. It's. Yeah. Um, speaking of nutrition and like what you've fed me, uh, as a vegetarian, is it hard to kind of navigate? Like, you are probably going to be primarily carbs, where I'm not going to be wanting to eat carbs. And you know, how do we have a meal? Even though like my meal might only be six bites, or you know, a cup of food, or you know, I might only eat half of my stuffed bell pepper, but, like, is that difficult, finding food that we can eat together? This has been a challenge, and so, basically, you know, before surgery, it was always, you know, meal as a family. We all ate the same thing. Yeah. And now, um, that has been something we've had to navigate which is basically sometimes it's well let me back up all right so of course you want your kids to um, eat healthy and you want hey buddy come you, here you, you want yourself to eat healthy hey um but it's not always that easy so you know a lot of things are so heavily car based and it's not necessarily the unhealthy option it's just easy and quick and convenient like macaroni and cheese or Absolutely. pizza so there are a lot of times where it's um a separate preparation separate meal so she has hers and you know kids have theirs or, and kids and me have ours and that's challenging on a lot of levels because <laughs> because one there's the temptation there for her, and two, it's uh, you know, double meal prep. Mm-hmm. So sure, that's challenging, but it's definitely worth it, and um, both for her and us. And um, but having said that, uh, it is also rewarding because all my life, you know, like so many Americans, our diet is so heavily carb based you know all these complex carbohydrates and it's really not good for us so on the other hand it's rewarding because we're eating healthier because there are meals that we can make as a family that the kids will eat you know Mm -hmm. and enjoy um like that egg and Oh yeah, the breakfast I made. Yeah, the breakfast. So I made uh, put eggs together and meat and then vegetables and I uh, put it in the mixer for quite a while, made it really really uh, creamy and then put it in the oven for like at 350 for like 30 minutes. Came out no flour or anything like that and it was kind of like a quiche or a casserole. It seemed like there was flour in it, um, but there wasn't. It was just uh, vegetables and meat and egg and it was really good. It was delicious and. Some, All the kids liked it. Yeah, some things are like that where everybody likes it. And that's okay, he's no longer meat. like a strict vegetarian, by the way. True. Uh, that's why he can eat the, <laughs> eat the meat. Uh, he does more of like a free-range, no hormones added uh, right. type 
yeah yeah I definitely adapted my diet and uh, it's been easier for everyone and easier financially too yeah and so that has been a um, both a challenge and a reward like I said so um, we've made our adjustments and it's worked out pretty well is there anything that you feel like over the last few years other than like monitoring my diet mm -hmm. um, anything that you feel like you would have done differently knowing what you know now two and a half years out or you pretty much stick to your decision makings let's see I'm just winging I, this on him by the way I didn't I ask think, him this previously I think a lot of it comes down to what we buy at the store you know so there's not any one thing that I would change but it's that decision when you're at the store um, what you're gonna buy yeah so I think planning ahead I think that would be the thing I would change planning ahead before you go to the store what it is you're gonna buy because I think a lot of times in the past it's like, oh, we need to go to the grocery store because we don't have Yeah, we food. know that we need basics. And then you just and then you add just, whatever you on just top. It. And that's not a good plan. It's not, it's not a plan. No. So you just grab whatever you want. Yep. And so that's not always the wisest decision. Which I, I did more this week because I also ordered my groceries on Instacart. So I went through and I had my list of things. I knew I wanted bell peppers. I knew I wanted onion. I knew I wanted ground beef. I knew I wanted these things to help me get through the next week. And also, I knew that, yes, I'm going to pay $5 for delivery or whatever. But if I'm in the store, I'm going to be like, well, while I'm here, I'm going to grab these things. And, you know, why not just go ahead and get this? Instead, I had to be like really, you know, here's my list. I'm going to order it. I'm going to have somebody come deliver it to my house. But it worked for me um, because I spent $5 on delivery, but I would have spent much more doing, you know, grabbing odds and ends and maybe cookies or maybe chips or maybe like, oh, I'm going to want something sweet later. Let me grab that. Right. And we all know they set it up like that. Just yeah. So that you get tempted with things. Those candy bars are right there at the checkout. <laughs> so it definitely removes that temptation. Um, so that is nice about Instacart. Mm -hmm. And um, I've just really grown to uh, appreciate the whole weight loss community because, oh, for sure, you know, um, she's never alone. Like, even if I'm not here, you know, she's developed lots of relationships. Tons. Shout out all of you guys, and Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate everything that you guys do and say, yeah, and all the support you give. Yeah, I think um, I would have introduced you earlier in my videos, actually, um, if I had to do something different, have people getting to know you. I was just afraid yeah. that you were such a stud, somebody's gonna try to snatch you up. But yeah, I am here. He talks about me, but here yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> he does exist. Um, what are some of the other things that have changed? Like, for me, um, sex has changed a lot. Like, I can feel you more because I have less fat padding. You know, like, what are some of the other things that have changed? Can you think of anything? I can. Um, so, some of the things that have changed... Um, I kind of referenced this earlier, but I can get more specific. So, you know, before it was, what are we going to do, um, and how are we going to get healthy, and all these questions, and now it's not so much a, a question, it's just a matter of committing to it. Mm -hmm. um, we have very specific, concrete things that we can do. We, we That's not even a question anymore, it's, you know. Um, get the meats, buy the meats, and <laughs> we have the meats. <laughs> and uh, stay away from the, you know, potatoes and the 
high carbs and you know do a walking video do an exercise video mm -hmm. go to the park mm -hmm. you know um, I think we spent and I don't you tell me if this is true on your end but we used to spend more time um, meal prepping like where are we gonna go out to eat or what you know different types of foods are we gonna eat tonight and right now it's like okay well what kind of household chores need to be done or what kind of like exercise can we get in today like we're more active for me I mean do you feel that I'm more active than I was two and a half years ago absolutely like a hundred percent yeah definitely more active we and we do go to parks more often mm -hmm. and at least even if we went to parks in the past it wasn't to be <coughs> active it was to let the kids play at the playground and we would watch them but now it's we play with the kids or we walk around the track or something like that mm -hmm. and the conversation has changed instead of um Instead of what are we going to do, it's actually um, involves real plans. Um, whereas it's like, this is what we're going to do at this time. This, you know, like this is when I'm going to the store, and this is the exercise that I plan to do today, and this is what I'm going to eat. Not like what am I going to eat, right? That's a kind of a big difference. You know, there's so much. Before there was so much um, talk, and this is true for a lot of people, about what am I going to eat today? You know, planning the meals because you don't even know what you're going to eat. But now, <clears throat> these days, it's you know what your options are. It's just which one are you going to pick? Right. Well, um, I do have one more question, but I wanted to know if you had any. Other thoughts that you had written down or um, anything that else that you haven't shared yet that you feel like sharing? Yeah, um, so I don't know how much this will apply to other people and everything, but we talked about how long we've known each other and I, I definitely feel like that's um, important. And it's definitely informed how we've gone through this journey. Well, let's tell him. So, I, you, he was my brother's best friend. And I first met him when I was like 10. And then, like, shortly thereafter, I was writing him his first love letters. And um, he was like, no, no, no. You're just like a little sister. Get it, go, go, go. And then we became really close friends and started dating in 2004 when I graduated high school. Right. Where I was, like, in the 120s. Um, we got married three years later and I was in the 230s and then I was up to like the three three twenties um you know seven years later or whatever and then I had my weight loss surgery and now I'm like 223.6 so it's my weight today I know my weight um so I've come you know not full circle but I mean, he knew me less than 120 because I was like a little kid. And then he's seen me all the way up and all the way down. So it is fairly unique. When we say that we've known each other for a long time, that's what we, in our relationship, that's what we are working with. Sure. And if you can wrap your head around that of, you know, me seeing her through all of that, those changes, you know, um, and it really not being... Well, let me back up. So, it's only unique because I, um, you know, I'm in love with her, right? <gasps> like, she's the love of my life. Oh. And um, I love her as a person. And so, her gaining the weight was never, you know, an issue in that regard. You know, it was never, like, difficult on our marriage. Um, and... So, um, what I'm trying to say is this. Sorry about that. That's fine. So, <laughs> um, 
You bat them on the seat. Like, they're on the edge of their seat. They want to know where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cliffhanger. That, that was... That was a ridiculous setup. But anyways, um, my point is this. So the surgery, the decision to do the surgery, uh, it was never about, for me, it was never about how she looked. And I know that's important for a lot of people. But, I mean, I already loved her the way she was. Yeah. The chief thing about it for me was her health. And that's, mm -hmm. that's always been true. Um, and so, I know that, you know, for a lot of maybe spouses, it's about getting that partner to a certain number or getting them to look a certain way. But I was just happy to support you and just see her through the decision process. And, um, I'm, of course, happy with the result and, you know, things are different and sex is better yeah but that's just a perk you know that's not even the main thing mm -hmm. and so I just wanted to point that out that through this whole journey it hasn't been about what she looked like it was about her health any other thoughts that you have built up on your own over there um I think we've covered everything pretty sure okay I'm totally throwing this at him y'all um uh, I have one last question sure uh I think it's one one at the moment um what if any advice would you give to those spouses out there um maybe somebody's just had surgery or they're thinking about having some surgery um also side note cliff note would you have me do the surgery again? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's good to know. 100%. Okay. Uh, so what advice would you give those other spouses, loved ones, significant others, those loved ones? What advice would you give to them? If at any point before or after surgery? Um, the advice I would give would be It's not the other, it's not the person's who's going through surgery. It's not theirs alone. It's not their journey. You're with them. Okay. You know, it's up to you, sure, how much you get involved and support them and keep them accountable. But you have to do some level of that. If you don't, then, you know, you're already set up for failure. Um, and going into it, you need to know what to expect from each other. Um, number two... What I expect is no bananas in my smoothie. <laughs> Hilarious. Um... The other piece of advice I would give is um, Hi, what I mentioned earlier is that okay. the surgery is not um, a solution for the relationship. It's not going to fix anything in your relationship. Sure. It's only a tool. It's a good one. And it's only for... It's only a tool for healthy living and weight loss. It's right. not a tool for a marriage or a relationship. Right. So that, I think, is Same very, as a baby. very key and, and, and important to keep in mind mm -hmm. going into it and, you know, all the years to come. So I think that's the right way to view it. And um, you can't let them go on the journey by themselves. It is their journey, but you have to be there with them. I feel very not alone in mine. Um, I would like to thank my husband for agreeing to come online and uh, 
sharing his side of it and um, sharing with you all. If you have any questions or comments or would like to know anything specific, please comment below. He has already uh, signed up to if anybody says, I want to hear more about this specific thing, um, that he will come back and answer any questions. And uh, yeah, were you nervous that somebody was going to try to snatch me away when I lost weight? or All the time. And I know I fumbled through a lot of this, but um, if you do have questions, I will answer them. Yeah. I get very nervous in front of people and in front of cameras, so there's that. And I, on the other hand, am an internet sensation. Absolutely. I have like 188 <laughs> subscribers to date, so, so got to give the fans what they want. You've uh, stayed with us for these 30 minutes. We appreciate it. We do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, if you feel like this um, video can be helpful to anybody, please uh, share, like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we, or I, at least, will be on next week. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.